Hey guys, it's me Lana Dawn. I know it's been a long time, but if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I talk to you guys daily, so it doesn't feel like it's been too long, but it's been a long time that I've posted a YouTube video. So anyways, um, I did this look on Live Glam Snapchat yesterday, and I got so many requests to do a YouTube video on it, so that way you guys can come back and see it long term instead of 24 hours. So, um, I did this summer glow look. So see that shine and um, glowy eyelids, gold eyelids, and a darker lip because I feel like it tied in the whole look. So if you guys wanna see this YouTube tutorial, stay tuned. What I did first was I used Total Moisture by Benefit, and then I applied a couple drops of the serum. Now the serum you have to be careful with because it is a bronzing serum, so it does act like a self tanner. So when you mix it in your hands like this, and you don't wash them, your hands are gonna turn bright orange. So, but I do like it especially for summer because it helps keep my skin tan. So after moisturizing your face, you are going to want to help your pores out because, I don't know about you, but you can see my pores. So the pore freshenal, pore freshenal, okay? Don't mind my lipstick on there. Um, this definitely helps minimize the appearance of pores. It helps keep your foundation on. So you want to apply that right before you put your foundation on. Do you see how it helps also mattify your skin so it takes away all the shininess? And it makes your skin feel super smooth. So next, I am going to be using Makeup Forever HD Foundation, and this color is 123. I find this color a little light for me, so I am definitely going to be bronzing myself up. Um, I poured a little bit in the back of my hand. I will take a duo fiber brush. I will highlight my highlighting area is just a little bit. Um, I'm not too fond of like the crazy highlighting, especially for my everyday. So I am just taking, I use this concealer palette a lot. This is from R RCMA and this is the KA palette right there. And I am going to apply it right below my eyes. Next, of course, I will be highlighting with my Laura Mercier. This is a translucent powder. I bought this from Namie's, and it is my favorite, favorite, favorite powder to um, set with. And now I'm gonna set my foundation with this powder. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys will see um, all the reoccurring products that I use, and you obviously can tell which one is my favorite and which one is my least favorite if I don't use it again. And you've seen me use this as my bronzing and contour color for the last, I would say, month. So this is from Benefit, and how cute are they? They put my name on it, give me a little brush. But I use this um, fan brush, and this fan brush is a Kabuki fan brush, and this is from Morphe. I will be contouring my nose, just giving it some structure. If you guys want to go into complete detail about contouring your nose, I will put a link right here probably. Um, I did a whole YouTube tutorial on the complete step-by-step -step of contouring your nose. Right now, I'm just gonna go lightly and just do one color, but if you wanna do complete detail, click on the link. Using a flat brush, apply the bronzer down the sides of your nose. Now, because it is a summer glow, I'm going to be using Anastasia's So Hollywood, and it is a goldish highlight. So I know that it just looks really brush, which is a fluffy brush. This one is from NYX. And I am going to highlight right on my upper cheekbone. 
and you can see that it's already super shimmery. Now I'm gonna go right down the center of my nose, the same color. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take this Tarte concealer, actually it's not a concealer, it's a eye colored primer. So it is just like a concealer, that's why I called it that. Um, you see the color, but what it does is it helps your eyeshadows from creasing, it helps brighten the color, it helps the eyeshadow stick a lot longer and last throughout the day. So you always wanna use a primer before you use eyeshadows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna lay it onto my lid and then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger, just like that. What I'm gonna do next before I do the eyeshadow actually is I'm gonna do my brows because I'm gonna get up close and personal and my brow is not gonna look really pretty. So I'm gonna do my brows first. This is Gimme Brow from Benefit. Okay, you can already see the difference. Look at how thick this one is compared to this one. Um, and this is just the gel. So if it's a day that you just wanna go to the gym and you want to have your eyebrows filled in a little bit, I'm not mad at this product for just using just one product. It actually looks really, really good. Okay, so the second product I'm going to use from Benefit is called Cabra. This is just like a gel. Um, it comes with like a little brush, an angle brush and it is a gel brow filler. So this color is brown, obviously, and I'm just gonna go in and start filling in the lines and making it a little bit more structured. So now I'm gonna get into my shadows and I'm gonna be using a couple different palettes. So, uh, Renaissance, Modern Renaissance by Anastasia, I will be using this. And I will also be using the Stila palette. I'm gonna take these two colors right here. It is called Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange, and I'm gonna be putting those right into my crease. A fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna take those two colors, and I am going to apply it right into the center of my crease. I'm gonna take the eye primer once again and apply it just to the center of my lower lid. I'm going to take the Spontaneous Gold. I'm gonna lay it right in the center of my lower lid. Now I'm gonna take this Loose Pigment from Dose of Colors. This is a really beautiful color. It comes with a cream base so that way the loose pigment, which is like a glitter, can stick right on top of it. This is from Anastasia. It is a black waterproof eyeliner called Noir. I'm gonna take this brown from the Anastasia palette. I am going to set that black eyeshadow and blend in. Take this burnt orange right here, and also this one over here, and I'm gonna take a mixture of the two, and I am going to blend right below my lower lash line. I will take the pink heart. It's a very pretty iridescent color. Okay, so I just finished applying my eyelashes and um, I have a short little tutorial for you. But I did apply my eyelashes. I'm using Ardell's 207 in black and then the Duo Adhesive for my lashes. And then I also use this little applicator um, from Ardell. To finish up my look, I am going to be using Gerard Cosmetics, and it is the color Boss Lady. Now this is a darker color, but it ties in with my eyeshadow and it makes it look so pretty. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my Snapchat yesterday from Live Glam, but this is pretty much almost exactly the same look that I used, and everybody commented how the lip color tied the whole look together.
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this summer glow look. Um, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you guys want to see in the next video. So please comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.